When it comes to testing new technology out, I get a real kick out of seeing what can be achieved. And with that in mind, I thought it'd be kind of cool to see if out of the box oxygen would work with Jet Engine and Jet Smart filters from Crocoblock. Now at the moment, the Crocoblock tools only officially support Elemental and Gutenberg, so I wasn't really holding out a huge amount of hope, but I kind of thought it would be fun to experiment nonetheless. So the question is, what did I find out? Well, quick spoiler alert, you can totally use Jet Engine inside Oxygen, and after speaking to some of the developers over at Crocoblock, they are looking at deeper integration with Oxygen in the future. Personally, I'm really excited to see where that goes. So if you're interested to see how I got on, cool, let's just take a look at that right now. Okay, so this is basically what I've put together. And if you've ever used Oxygen and you've used it with normal post types or custom post types with ACF, you'll know this is pretty standard. But this is all being done with Jet Engine, with no extra plugins, no add ons, nothing at all, just Jet Engine installed alongside Oxygen. So again, I've got a mix of content. The image is just a featured image, the title is just a normal title. But then we've got the sample field data and this price information, and they are jet engine fields. So let me just show you how I've put this together. I haven't fully tested things. Don't know how far this integration goes right now, but I just want to kind of show you because it was a fun experiment to see if it would work. And speaking to some of the guys over at uh, jet engine developers and things, they've told me that there's a couple of things going on to take a look at actually allowing some of their tools to work better with oxygen in the future. So I'm excited to see if we start to get Elemental, Oxygen, and Gutenberg support inside the Crocoblock suite of plugins, or at least some of them. You know, if we could just get Jet Search and Jet Smart filters alongside Jet Engine, that would be a pretty cool combination. So let me show you how I've done this. It's pretty straightforward, but let me just show you. So what I've done inside Jet Engine is I've simply created a custom post type. It's called Jet Test in this example, and I've got two meta fields: sample data, which is just normal text field, and I've also got a numeric field, nothing else other than that. So I'm assuming you could probably pull in most of the normal fields you could. You might have a limitation with things like relationships. I haven't tested that out, but if you do get an opportunity to test this yourself, or you'd like to see me test it a little bit more in the future, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll take a look if I get the time to create and test things a little bit more in depth. Okay, so that's it. That's all I've done. And inside the taxonomies, I've simply set up a jet taxonomy. And if we take a look, we've got jet test on the left hand side, which has a couple of posts inside it. And they have a couple of taxonomies associated with it. We open up the jet test, open up inside there, and you see just the title, the normal data you have inside the text area. You've got a featured image, and then we have our custom data underneath inside the settings section. And as you can see, the jet taxonomy. Now I put the taxonomy inside there more to test things out to see if I could get this to work alongside jet smart filters. Unfortunately, that's not the case right now, but we should still be able to use those to filter and sort things out if you wanted to with the normal oxygen tools. Okay, so let's take a look at building this. I'm into the oxygen templates and I'm gonna add a new template inside here. And we're just gonna call this jet archive once i've done that i'm going to simply choose the options i want to associate with this so first of all we're going to use the main template so we get the header and footer and the content area in and then we've also going to tell it where we want to use this so for this example i'm going to come into archive i'm going to choose post types and from there i'm going to click and i'm going to scroll down until we find our jet test so this is the jet engine test that i've created inside jet engine itself so we open this back up and we go into our post types you'll see inside there, there's our jet test. So that's what we're using for the, for the data. So once we've done that, nothing else we really need to do in this particular example. So we'll just hit publish and then we can start editing with oxygen. Now, don't worry, this says that this is being used somewhere else. I've just got another, another screen open for my own help. Okay, let's just open this up and start working inside oxygen. So first up, let's just start building the basic layout. So we're gonna come over and add in a section and if we open up the structure on the right hand side, it'll just make things a little easier to see what I'm doing. What I do inside this section now is I'm just going to drop in a header so we can test things out. So let's just come in and add. We'll just add heading in, double click, and we'll just call it jet test archive. Okay. Next up, we need to add in our repeater. So again, same kind of thing. We're going to come in and we're going to search for repeater. And there we go. We're going to add our repeater in. And if we expand on the right-hand side, we can see there's our section, there's our repeater, everything's in place. So inside the div, I'm gonna just simply come in and we're gonna drop in some columns. So we'll add, we'll add in just the columns and we'll just set this to 50-50. Okay, 
So first thing we need to do is just come into the first section inside here, the first of our columns, click inside there, and we're going to add in, as we normally would, an image. And let me just find the image a second. There we go. And like we've done previously, we're going to hit the data option on there, and we're just going to choose the featured image. Set the size, and we'll go for medium large, and we'll set this to something like 600 by 600. Okay. Insert that into there. So you can see that's now pulled in some data. Obviously, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the right data because we haven't set any query up on here yet. So let's do that next, just to make sure that everything is in place. Hit the repeater option, come into our query, and change this to custom. Open the post type option up. We're going to click inside the first area and we're going to scroll down and we can see there's jet test. So again, same information. If you want to stack these and have multiple different options, you could do that. All we want is jet test. We'll hit apply query parameters and there's our first thing done. So even though we're using the jet engine for our custom content, our custom post types and so on, this is still kind of just using the featured image. None of the data that we're using is jet engine native data. So let's take a look at adding that alongside the normal data, things like the title and so on. Let's come into our second div and inside there, we're going to add in a title. And let me just grab the title section. There we go. Heading. And we're going to just let that load in, double click. Uh, come to insert data and from there we're just going to choose the title option you can set this to a link if you want to entirely up to you we'll insert that and uh, give that a second or so and there that should update so we can see now there's our jet test which is one of our jet custom post type posts and the whoop-de-whoop -whoop is another one okay so with that in place the next thing we want to do is exactly the same thing again this time we're just going to use a text element do the same thing we're going to double click inside there choose insert data and just grab our content and let that load in. Okay, so there's the normal three pieces of data. Now, let's come back and add another heading in. And we're going to set this to be something like heading six, so it's smaller. Let that load in. And we'll double click inside there. And we'll just put the text we want to use, which is price. And then we're going to go into insert data again. This time we're going to choose custom field meta options. You can see there's no ACF like you get when you've got advanced custom fields installed. We just have dynamic or, or custom field metadata. So it's kind of like a, a generic blank canvas, as it were. Grab the key, and what I'm going to do is scroll right the way down. And for this example, I've called that numeric field, numeric stuff. Could have named things better, admittedly. We'll insert that and give that a second, and we should find that we'll put in the information. So you can see, price 195, price 99. Do the same thing again. So we're going to select that field, and we'll just duplicate it. And then what we can do is we can just double click on that, take out that information inside there, and we'll go back out to insert data. Same again, custom meta field options. Click to expand this out. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab that sample data field. Again, hit insert. And we should find, once we move outside, we get our sample data. And now we can format that as we want to. So now we've just pulled in custom post type data from Jet Engine directly inside Oxygen with no third party tools, plugins, or anything else. It's being natively supported inside Oxygen Builder. So if you're coming from a background where you're using Elementor and Jet Engine and you're really accustomed to Jet Engine and don't really want to change over, I would say it's worth testing this out if you have access to Oxygen just so you can see how far that integration goes. And after speaking, like I said at the beginning of this video, to the sort of CEO of Crocoblocker you're on today, they've expressed to me that they are going to be taking a look, hopefully in the next few weeks, month or two, at greater levels of integration with Oxygen. So I'm really, fingers crossed, hoping that that actually pans out, because from my point of view, the more options we have to use the tools that we're accustomed to, like Jet Engine, Jet Smart Filters, and so on, the better. And if we can use those with different page builders, whether that's Gutenberg, Elemental, or Oxygen, I, for one, am super excited. And speaking to some of the other developers that I know, there's also more interest in Oxygen for various other things, which I think you will find exciting. I don't want to say anything at the moment because this is one of those things that I had a conversation yesterday and it was expressed to me that Oxygen is definitely on the cards and in beta development to see how well that could be integrated. So keep an eye on the channel. Subscribe if you want to see more Oxygen content, because as soon as these become available to me, I will be creating more deep dive kind of content with Oxygen and with some of these tools that you are used to from me working in a lot of the more dynamic deep dive videos with Elementor. So if you're interested, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because as soon as they come out, you will be notified. I'm pretty sure you'll find those really exciting to watch. 
Okay, with that being said, let's just save this now and test it out just to make sure that everything works. So we'll hit save and we'll hop over to the front end of our test site and have a look. And there we go. You can see there's our jet test archive. We're inside my test site. The two records that I've got are inside there. And if we want to, like I say, change the information over, so we want to set some, some easy sort of filtering on this or organizing, we can come back into oxygen. We can select our repeater. We can come in then into our query into our ordering, for example, and we can say we want to order by, for example, the title set it to ascending, and we should find as we hit apply parameters, we now get jet test before whoop de whoop, hit save on there, hop back over and refresh this page, and we should find, there we go. So everything is now fully working. So hopefully you found this useful and it's opened your eyes to some of the possibilities that you could have using tools that you may already be very familiar with. Now, while I've only briefly tested things out, and I'm sure there are going to be limitations on what can be achieved, I think it's still cool to see the basic functions at least are supported. And it's interesting to see how the Oxygen developers have made a more open architecture for more dynamic tools in the future. And the important question here is, would I recommend using Jet Engine with Oxygen right now? No, not unless you simply want to play around and see how far you can push the boundaries with these tools. I certainly wouldn't want to be using this on any kind of mission critical website, so please don't do that. But what it does suggest to me though is that Oxygen are keen to provide a more open architecture for building WordPress websites, and I'm super excited to see how far this will go in the future as more companies look at adopting Oxygen and more users hop on board this particular tool. Now, if this has piqued your interest in Oxygen or how you could combine Jet Engine in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Let's throw some ideas around and see what else I can test out. But still, why don't you tell me your experiences? Let me know in the comment section if you've combined tools with Oxygen and your success. Now, if you'd like to check out my previous Oxygen tutorials and videos, you can click on the link that will appear in the corner. And as always, all of the applicable links are in the description below. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, why not give that thumbs up button a click? It really does help the channel out. And while you're at it, if you like this particular content, why not also click that subscribe button and slap the bell icon. However, if you didn't find this video useful, please feel free to hit that thumbs down button twice, as that works pretty well too. Well, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.